So today I'll be doing a video discussing the 100 year time skip. Now, when it comes to the 100x Hunter world, this has to be one of the most vast and one of the most spooky, the most mysterious worlds in anime period, simply because after finding out about the dark continent, we know that the 100x Hunter world is very vast and very mysterious. Now, ever since the beginning of Hunter x Hunter, the main thing that I liked about it is that the world has seemingly had no bounds. Like we've seen that there has been a lot of monsters throughout this series. In the beginning with the Hunter ex exams, we've seen that they're fighting off dinosaurs and all these other deadly monsters. And then later on down the series, we've seen that it has either gone to a super more extreme. Like we've seen the Chimera Ants. They ended up pretty much coming out of nowhere for the longest of times. Their origin was unknown to us, but they broke the whole Hunter x Hunter power scaling for the world because we've never seen anything quite to that extreme with the Chimera Ants when they were first introduced. Like we've seen some pretty OP things. Like we've seen Hisoka, obviously he was doing his thing. Krolo, the Phantom Troop, but the Chimera Ants are what really set Hunter x Hunter into a whole new realm when it comes to power. And that was a good thing because I do believe that it could lead to this 100 year time skip. Now, like I said earlier on in the video, we know that the Dark Continent is pretty much proof that the Hunter x Hunter world, there's anything that could happen into it. Like, at this point, I wouldn't be surprised if there are aliens in the Hunter x Hunter world just roaming around. And if there's a place where they'll be roaming around at, it would be on the Dark Continent because we know that that is basically like... I want to say if we put it in comparison like the new world, how One Piece is, how it has the new world, I would say that that is the equivalent to that simply because it's a whole different terrain out there. Like we see that it's pretty much been banned for normal people to go there and even hunters, yes, even high class hunters can't even go there without authorization. So the Dark Continent is definitely something that's going to be spooky. And speaking of the Dark Continent, we know that with characters like Netero who have been to the Dark Continent and we've seen what type of crazy monster it's made him become same thing with zig zoldic which is one of Killua's ancestors and maha zoldic like there are a lot of people who were hella strong in the series who have been to the dark continent which just goes to show you that this is the real deal yes the fact that these characters have went to the dark continent and have told other people not to go there just goes to show you that the dark continent is the real deal but the reason why i brought this up is because we know that the dark continent has pretty much been a place for harboring people that's been over 100 years old people like don freaks who is related to gone we know that he's over 100 years old and we know that there are things like the chimera ants which are there that could be even more years older than don freaks are because the chimera ants that came to the earth or to the earth land they were pretty much looked at as younger like we've seen Miriam and the ant queen she basically was trying to start her new civilization but in the dark continent there could be civilizations that were there for millions or i don't want to say millions but maybe thousands or hundreds of years i don't know but we do know that time pretty much has been shattered when it comes to the dark continent because there has been characters like dawn freaks netero zmaha zodig zig zodig Miriam to a certain degree because Miriam kind of did set the scale for how strong the chimera ants should be and all those characters have shown us that you can live for a long time in the Hunter x Hunter world. Yes, between Netero and the Zoldix, we've seen that they can live a long time in the Hunter x Hunter world. So that is also another proof that 100 years for a time skip wouldn't be too far-fetched. Now, another reason why I believe there will be a 100-year time skip is because of the main characters. Now, when we look at Gon, Killua, Leorio, and Kurapika, we see that they all have their own goals that they want to accomplish, and all their goals don't necessarily coincide with each other except for really Killua's because we know Kurapika, he wants to basically hunt down all the Scarlet Eyes. We know that Leorio, he wants to become pretty much the best doctor and cure anything out there, and we know that Gon, now that he's found his dad, he's going to have to come up with a new role and a new goal, but I do think that it will end up being something good, and we know that Killua, he 
he's he said that he said that he just wants to follow gone forever like that's basically his goal so we know that all four of these characters goal it will be very time consuming and obviously we know that hunter x hunter isn't a normal world so who's not to say that these characters won't actually be involved in a hundred year time skip and I, before so many people say yo this is just a dumb idea you have to think characters like netro have been living for over hundreds of years old for hundreds and hundreds of years and netro himself has pretty much handpicked gone and kill one and he has noticed that these two have exponential potential we seen back in the hunter exam he mainly wanted to test those two out and we know that he knows about the whole potential of gone and everything like hell he picked them for the chimera and basically invasion so we know that netro if the guy who's been alive for 100 years old and basically seen it all has picked you that means that he has high hopes for you and there is a chance that gone he could end up actually going on a journey similar to what netro had to go through because i do believe that gone will end up becoming one of the strongest if not the strongest characters in hunter x hunter at the end of the series and we saw everything that netro had to go through in order to become the strongest hell it took him more than 100 years and we saw that he wasn't even the strongest person so i definitely do think that a time skip will be necessary for hunter x hunter but it can't just be some regular time skip and that's why i do believe it will have to be a 100 year time skip where we'll be able to see the character finally reach its full potential and i do think that will be best for gone comment what you guys think down below subscribe if you haven't peace out